guys, welcome to another video. Now, I've just been walking along the Arrowwash Canal, doing a video on a walk along there, and I came across the old railway line into the Stanton Ironworks. Now, I've not had a look at this for 20, 25 years. It used to run up off the canal. There used to be a semaphore signal just at the top of the canal bridge. Um, and I thought, oh, I wonder if it's still there. So I was able to just run up, have a look, Sadly, the signal is gone. Um, then I decided to jump up and follow the line back towards the old and long gone, but very, very huge Stanton Ironworks. So come with me. I don't know what's up here. I don't know how far we're going to get or what we're going to see. But as I say, this was the last line to have any kind of workings coming out of Stanton Ironworks. I believe they ceased around about 2003. Let's go along and find out. So already at this point it is very very overgrown so we've got the rails to the right, we've got the industrial units to the left, maybe West Transport, but we've got to really get through all these bushes and see where this brings us out. That was a bit of an adventure. Okay, so a little bit clearer now. We've not got very far. So we've just come from down there. Big, big warehouses. Nothing but wasteland on the left. The curve of the railway just pops around that way. Let's do a bit more. So where exactly are we? So if we have a look at this map from the last few years, thanks to Google, on the right hand side you've got the M1 motorway and then it's the Arrowwash Valley railway line and then just to the left of that you can see the Arrowwash canal. Now halfway up the right hand side the, the path of the Nutbrook canal uh, joins on from the Arrowwash canal and veers its way through the centre of the site and up towards the, the um, left hand side of the picture. Now if we look at the picture at the bottom right hand corner where the M1 is, the line we're following heads up towards the left center of the screen and follows up right to the middle of the screen and finishes almost around about where that large chunk of concrete area is next to Ilkeston Road. The other line you can see heading up towards the center of the screen and towards Quarry Hill Industrial Estate is what now forms today the Nutbrook Trail which heads off towards Shipley. And here's another beautiful shot showing us some chimneys and also the Nutbrook Canal with lock number one can be seen in the centre of this screen. So the Arrowwash Canal and the Arrowwash Valley line would be immediately behind us. And in this fantastic shot, we're inside the cab of a Class 8 shunter heading towards the Arrowwash Valley line. So we're on the stretch of track that we've just been walking and we're going in the direction of the canal. And the canal, the Arrowwash Canal is just on that little kink of track in the far distance before it curves round to go under the M1 motorway and join the Arrowwash Valley line. Right, it looks like the rails are either coming to an end or blocked by uh, lorry trailers. I'm pretty sure the rails won't disappear. I think they've just been, the tail ends of these trailers have been parked over the rails. So we're not gonna go through the yard. We'll see if there's a way around them. Okay, so leave them behind. It's a convenient gap in the fence just here. Through we go. Oh wow, there's more. There's another line down here. Some sort of um, siding maybe. Wow, how many years has this been out of action? Look at the brick walls. same again 
It's like a rocky brick line wall. This is well gone. This has not been used for years. Can't really get down there, but just down there, you see it keeps coming to an abrupt end and that's it. That is amazing stuff. So I'm now currently skirting around that, um, those trailers parts over there. And there's a bit of a warm path that I'm following. Over in that direction, you can go towards the Arawash Canal again and a bit more wasteland from the old Stanton Iron Works. So we'll keep going and uh, make our way out of here and try and pick the line up further down. So the line itself, if the line's still there, but that line of trees there, and we're running in that direction, and we're creeping along the edge, and hopefully we'll meet up with it again. So I've just come out there, here, ran right up here. There's them trailers again, so the line is there, and remarkably, if we run down here, which I'll try to do without falling, there we go. Underneath this water, and then there we go. And then it's buried again. So that little road. The little road is just behind there. I'm gonna drop down here and there we go, back on it again. So that's the direction we've come from. So we've got some old warehouses here. There's that land and the trailers are just the other side of that for them wagons. Um, yeah, so some abandoned units just here. I've actually had a look in that one before. A little bit creepy, it's like an old playhouse or something. And I've seen this before as well, but I've never followed it. So you can join me and come along. We'll see how much further it goes. So in a previous video, one of my very first ones, we followed the log abandoned Nutbrook Canal. Now this is where I've seen this line before. So we, the canal is over there and it comes from the Arawash Canal this way. It's disappeared here and it makes an appearance the other side of those trees and then carries on towards Shipley.
So we're coming across to this section being gated. But I know from following the old Nutbrook Canal that the path follows along there anyway. So the gates are pretty much useless. I know, they're there for a reason, but they would have been here for a reason a long, long time ago. As um, say you can get in either that way, or there's a track there that you can follow and you can get it that way, it's wide open. So this is a fine shot. Now this is showing what it was like in the early 2000s. I believe this was 2003. Um, it shows the Stanton Ironworks sign in a very, very late stage of demolition. We've got all the scrap materials on the left, on the right. But at this point, we've still got the loaded pipe trains leaving the site and again heading towards Tyne Docks. So the other side of the gate and the track appears as if it's going back into a single line again. Still got the old point lever here. Don't suppose it. No, that's well and truly locked. Okay. Let's see how much further this goes. Quite a skew in the track here, I don't know if you can really pick it up. But it jinks left, follows it around, and then it jinks right again. I don't really think the camera's picking it up. On the way back, I think there's quite a buckle. There you go. So the line is just split into two. I'm assuming it will be what was two different loading sites. So we'll follow this one, see where it goes. So we're following the left hand side track. So the light to the left, this is all it does. It goes into this. And it's absolutely buried beyond this point. Okay, so back here at the junction where the line split again. This time, we're gonna look at the other line, see if this goes anywhere. So this is the line we saw earlier. It's got the kink in the rail. So it's the one that veers off to the right. So yeah, you'd have to assume that this was used for loading. You got this curb all the way along here and then like a concrete base and it looks like buildings were here, maybe. Um, sort of like storage yard. And I expect they used to like, um, you know, use JCBs or whatever you to load the pipes onto the wagons. We might actually be coming to as far as we can go. There we are, end of the line. The old buffer stops. Now I can only imagine, it could have been possible that at one time of day the line did carry on, but then again, it may not have done. I'll have to have a look. If we go over here, there's uh, what appears to be a 
fishing pond. So it's probably unlikely that it did carry on. Right, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been remarkable to see that the line is still intact all the way. We didn't go as far as the Arawash Valley line because we don't go near any running lines, but you know it was there and it's intact all the way right through to the far end with the last loaded pipes onto the trains. The fact that it's still here, the point where it's still here, the rails are still here, the sleepers are still here. It's just fantastic, even though it is unlikely to see any kind of work in the future ever again. So again, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see even more. And also, you can comment below. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.